Hi right, guys, Joe from Prepper in the Woods here. Now in this video I'm going to show you another spirit stove. Um, this will be my second one, the first one being the Polymath Products uh, Phantom Stove, which I do like. And that one is, is in my bag, I do bring that with me. So this one here was given to me in a um, subscription box. So I um, never used it, but I'm going to test it out today with that um, mess kit I showed you in the last video. So I'm going to combine the two, see how we get on, and see how this one is, and then see how that one cooks. We're going to make some basic little food, just something out of a backpack, and that's it. But um, I want to see how well this cooks. All right, so let's see what we got here. All right, get one pan. Yeah, one pair of that, and a big bowl. All right, so this lot here, to be honest, I'm not too worried about. So I want to use that bit. So I'll save that for another time. Looks very well made. Quite strong, not going to bend too easy. Um, decent sized frying pan, I'd say for one person. Clips work well. See in the hold, no problems. All that is is just a little two bit there. So one from top, one from the bottom, which fits into the ridge there. And you have a nice bowl. Again, quite strong, not gonna bend. So yeah, that's nice. But um, for what we're cooking today, we're gonna need something a bit deeper than that. So like I said, I'll just put that on the side right now that there. Let's see what we got here. Nice. Nice little ring on the inside of that. Looks good on the inside. Don't see any sharp bits. All right, put that in the side for now. Let's just fill this bit up. It'd be really nice if this fit inside um a mess tin. Um, well, put this bit back on. Well, I didn't see it. Sorry. So I'm going to put this in here first because I have a feeling what's going to happen is I'm going to... Everything's going to be a tight space. All right, so that's in there. That's like that. Let's set up this. So I showed this on Facebook and I got a lot of good feedback off it. Um, like I said, it is three pieces. That bit we're not going to worry about today. So I'll put that on the side. Just gonna fill some water here. Always reliable Pathfinder kit. Right. Something else someone mentioned on Facebook. Um, I forgot who said it, but I'll throw it up on the screen. Good idea, they have one of these already, and they said that you can sit the bottom of the lid here, which I didn't notice, the bottom of the lid here does sit on that. So like I said in the video about putting it on there and then boiling something and having problems taking it off, they corrected me or gave me the idea of that you can put it on top, put the handle that way, then it won't have that weight to you know, tip out. So when you put it on, just pat the handle up and you can boil, and then when you're done with it, you can always just take it off. And then when you put it back on, you can just put it on nicely and safe, which is a really great idea. So thank you for the person who said that to me. 
Um, but let's just get this started now. I'm probably gonna open this all the way because I don't care if I waste it. Actually, I might even not even use that right now. But okay, that's on. Right, so I'm gonna put this on now. that and then I'll take my food this is where it all goes spills and then I have nothing now the reason why I switched over to this is because I usually eat rat packs anyway and they seem to fit really well in this one without me having to um, mess about with it I mean like look at that so normally with the um, Yugo mess kits you know that, that's a bit, they don't fit too well and then it's a bit of a pain in the ass so let me just do that like that, and we're good to go. Now considering how windy this is, this is doing really well at the moment. So I like the stand on it. Right, so now I can just check it if I wanted to. Oh yeah, it looks nice. And I'm not burn myself, which is really nice. That's another plus that I'm, I'm really happy with that someone told me about. This is so much easier than what I was gonna to try to do. So I'm happy that I cooked enough. I'm just gonna put that to the side for the moment. Uh, the handle is not hot, so I'm happy with that. This one here, lift the bale up, take that off the fire. Again, nice and easy, really happy with that. This thing, um, on the other hand, I'm probably going to burn myself up. Oh, good job. Right, so, that's out. And now I have my food. So, again, really nice set. I think between all of this, that is a really reliable, all-together kit. So, like I said, I'm really happy with it. Let me see if I can get a better angle here. There we are. So again, that's plenty big. Um, if I want to cook that, the soup in here, that's fine. Boil the water on there. You know, great. I have that option now uh, for cooking instead of you know using wood. But all around, very, um, very good. You know, nothing's really. Uh, let's see. No, nope, the bottom of that is fine. So that's good. So I just want to share that with you guys. So that's the Trenger or Trangia, however you want to say it, um, mini one. Um, like I said, I'll probably use that on its own um, and then just keep this cook set. So this cook set I'm really happy with. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, thanks guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you think of this setup. Um, and that's about it. I'm going to enjoy my lunch now. Thanks guys. Bye.